you. Why, thank you. I wanted to talk about something that you've alluded to already in, in newspaper articles, the claim that you're splitting, the claim that Mark's done a solo album, that Shane's done a solo album. But I wanted to talk about life beyond Westlife, not necessarily after Westlife, but beyond Westlife. I mean, there have been a number of stories, Brian, about you and Kerry mm. becoming TV hosts. Is that, is, would that be an ambition? Um, At some time, not, not necessarily no, today or tomorrow. Never. No. It's just not, it's just something I'd never want to do. I don't, I don't, I wouldn't get any kind of enjoyment out of it. Being in Westlife, singing, writing music, just performing in general, it's just, it's just more fulfilling. It's just more something I've dreamed about as a kid. I never dreamed about being a TV presenter and, you know, I'm living my dream. I don't want to change for anything else. So it's definitely not even an option after the band. And how is Kerry? She's great. She's great. Yeah. She's very heavily pregnant now. So she's getting hormonal and twitchy and eating curries and stuff. So Great. No yeah. change there, then. No. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. I didn't say that. And the baby's due in February, is that right? She is, yeah. And she is. Have you thought of any names yet? Um, I had a few ideas, but they just changes every day. Right. Do you find? Can I ask you what is a very serious question for somebody who I know is great crack? Do, have you found it more difficult to work and to travel since Molly's been born? Um, yeah, it's a lot harder. Um, I just you just miss miss home a lot more than I ever did before. You know, before I was married or before I had Molly. Um, but I suppose it makes me work harder now because I'm not just working for me anymore. I'm working for a family. I'm, you know, trying to support three people. And it just I think it's more enjoyable the thought that I'm coming home at Christmas with my time off to a family rather than just you know coming home to an empty house. So it's it all kind of balances out. And how would you assess the impact of Kerry on your life? Um, she's the best thing that ever happened to me. Definitely. Um, she just changed me completely and she kind of brought my feet back to the ground and I never kind of got big headed about Westlife. I never kind of went off with the fairies like a lot of people do. And I think... Um, Was that a, the rest of us? No, I'm, 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 I'm <laughs> no, I think that's... I think uh, Kerry, Georgina and Gillian, um, they do play a big part in, in why Westlife was successful because they, they've kept the three of us grounded. And when you've got three people in the band grounded, it just automatically becomes five Mike's people. wild all the time. No, but it just as a band, the whole the, the three <laughs> girls just keep us grounded. <laughs> and what about life beyond Westlife for you, Nikki? You talked at one stage about TV presenting. You still interested in that? I'd love to do what you do. Would you? you know, absolutely. Great. That's I'm glad you said that. I've always wanted to be on chat show. I'm glad you said that. You have Westlife here. Get an exclusive out of them. Go ahead. Yeah. Ask yeah, them. Yeah, uh, go on. Ask them. Ask them what you think they should be asked, because you've got insider knowledge. First of all, you've got to remember, if he asks the wrong question, he knows he's going to get that <laughs> one. <laughs> um, let me see. Mark, whatever happened to you after the band? I mean, you know, Shane moved on to great solo success. Keen owned all those Playboy mansions. This is and yourself, <laughs> yourself, I, I mean, do? you just went into obscurity. Brian, of course, passed away when he was very, very... <laughs> <laughs> That is a great thing to present, isn't it? Um, but you went, you went into obscurity. What, what happened? You used to be my friend. <laughs> I, used, I used to work for um, obscurity. I did security for McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> it's going well so far. Do you I have Kane's guitar yet? Is it tuned yet? But hey. Wow. wow. Thanks, David. Thank you. So I'll become a rock star. That's this. what I was going That's to ask. Is this the next option? Yeah, it's tuned. <laughs> <laughs> is this the next option? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Play, no, play one of your Metallica thing, riffs. Thing, come on. Yeah, one, one of my Metallica riffs on this guitar, it's a bit too small. Wild thing. Right, are you going to sing it? No. Everybody sing it, yeah? <laughs> Wild thing. Come on. You make my heart sing. I don't know the words this. You make everything. <laughs> come on, wild thing. Wild, Wild thing. thing. I think I'm finished. <laughs> but I want to know for sure. The audience, they know more about you than anyone else, so let's try and find what they want to ask you. Let's start with Natasha Thompson. Where is Natasha, please? How are you, Natasha? Natasha, what would you like to ask the members of Westlife? Have you ever considered a sex member of the band? There used to be six members in the band, right back, way back, before Brian and Nicky were even in the band. Um, there were six members in the band when Brian and Nicky were in the band as well. That's yeah. true. Yeah, at one stage. But, um, yeah, six members, I mean, it's, it's all good. Less money. I don't know. <laughs> Six-way cut, To be yes. honest with you, I don't think, if some, if some of us left, we wouldn't get a replacement. We wouldn't, like, have an extra member. There's too much of a bond here now for somebody new to come into the equation, if you know what I mean. So. Okay, look, next is Ellen Kennedy. Did you ever think something wrong or get nervous or scared? 
I don't think I've ever been on stage and not sung something wrong. Really? Nicky never knows the right words of the songs. I don't think you've ever sung anything right. That's what I'm saying. Um, I, I don't even get nervous that much anymore. Big TV shows, like we did um, Miss World about a year ago, and it was like two billion viewers. And when they told us that, we kind of got the shakes a little bit. I was really nervous when we performed for the Pope, actually, in, uh, in the Vatican yeah. in Rome last Christmas. It was very, I mean, it's the Pope, you know, so if you're sitting for the Pope. Either, so yeah, yeah, we didn't know what we were doing. <laughs> Dolores and Reardon helped us out, actually. I think as well, the first night of every tour, we get really nervous because we know everything's going to go wrong. Next is Sarah McAleese. Where's Sarah McAleese? Hello, Sarah. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good. What would you like to ask Wesley? Who would you like to find wrapped up for you at Christmas? Kerry. Molly. Correct. <laughs> that was the correct answer. He knows if he didn't say that, it would be trouble. Nikki? Um, Georgina. Yeah. That was the right answer. <laughs> um, I don't know, I suppose my mummy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what a liar. <laughs> Weirdo. If I didn't say Mark? mum now, I think I'd be getting questions asked, so I have to say mum as well, seeing as he put me it in this situation. It must be a Sligo thing. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Debbie Lunny, is it? Is that right, Debbie? Debbie, what is your question, please? If you could spend the day with any celebrity, past or present, who would it be and why? Elvis. Elvis, yeah. Right, let's start, Brian. Presumably your, yours is Elvis. Elvis. OK. Nikki? Frank Sinatra. Why Frank Sinatra? I don't know, just listen to some of his music and stuff. I mean, Elvis, I mean, my dad's a big fan of, and I'd love to, to would, have, would have loved to meet, but I think Frank Sinatra. Cian, what about you? Um, I'd probably say Michael Jackson or someone like that. Just to see what actually Pastor goes on presence. in his head. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, what about you? Um, I reckon probably either Stevie Wonder or Prince, to be honest with you. Um, I don't know, I'm just a big, massive fan of both of them. I'd love to like, maybe spend a day in a studio or something with them and learn from them. Great. Round of applause, please, for all those who've been asking questions.